this week against Peter Wright. 113 average. Amazing. Yeah, well, this is all down to this what we call the scoring power. And that's what Anderson and Van Gogh and Lewis and Chisler, that's what they've got over the others. However, you know, Taylor and Barney and the likes, they've got this consistent game. You let them off and wave as well. You let them off, they punish you, and that's when they turn in a good leg. And that's what Gary's got to be a little bit careful of his field this evening. Crucial one in terms of the table as well. Fifth against third at the start of the night. Way more than Nigel Pearce, new commentators. Thank you, Dave. Yes, they have already met in the Premier League this year. These two world champions, legends of the game. It was six apiece in Exeter at the West Point Arena. Let's see how they get on here tonight. Phil Taylor currently just outside the top four. A point behind Raymond van Barneveld and this man, Gary Anderson. The race for the top four is getting very, very tight indeed with time running out, Wayne. Yeah, it's all very exciting, isn't it? Still so hard to predict. Right, this man off at your peril. Phil Taylor has only once failed to make the playoffs since 2005, and that was in 2015. The six-time champ. He hasn't won it, though, since 2012. So he's looking to, at a seventh, if he can... Yes, he has dominated the Premier League since its inception. Not many people can say that they have been a Premier League champion. Gary Anderson, no. Twice Premier League champion. Quite a CV, and when you put the two of them together, their roll call of honours, hugely impressive. Well, in years gone by, it's been a case of Phil Taylor it's been kind of too consistent for Gary Anderson, but times have changed. Gary can now turn it on whenever he likes. 51. 36. And if he can pop the doubles away, you do feel that Gary Anderson will outscore Phil Taylor. Yeah, that would have been a sensational start with a 12 dart leg for Anderson. Now Taylor. Will he go 18 for double 16? Yes, he has. One dart in hand at the double. The chance is there for Anderson now for a break of throw in the very first leg here. And he gets it. Well, Gary stuck his hand up there as if to say sorry. I actually think he snatched that a bit. But that's the importance of a good follow-through. Keep your arm extended all the way to the end after you've released it and you can make a bad dart somehow get there that's what Gary Anderson did 1-0 double dose of Phil Taylor tonight as well he's in the last game of the evening against Dave Chisnell who was also out twice tonight beat Adrian Lewis in the game we just saw and uh, nights like this for Chisnell for Taylor can be pivotal four points up for grabs which can be oh so important with three oh, nights oh, remaining oh, before the playoffs Birmingham next week, Sheffield on May the 4th and Aberdeen on May the 11th games start to oh, run oh, out but when you are playing twice it can be decisive and really tell you whether you've got much chance of making the top four well, it was a perfect oh, life for Phil just couldn't plug one on top 51 for 36. Well, may go 54 or 30. There is the 30. And that is tops. Well, Gary Anderson, in practice, we have the, the luxury of seeing the, the practice darts that the players have. He had three darts at tops in the nine practice darts and didn't miss any. So that bodes well. Four from four, effectively. Great start. And he's hitting those big numbers as well, isn't he? Three 140s already. I haven't got a 180 yet between them, but Anderson three dart average early on. Wow, look at that. Almost 118. 18. Unlucky Taylor. Yeah, we've already said Phil has another game against Dave Chisnell this evening. Just in case you missed the first game, Chizzy beat Adrian Lewis. 
Played well, Dave. 103 average. Adrian started a bit slowly, but Chizzy now possibly back in the mix. Yeah, started tonight on eight points. Chisnell could end up on 12. And for Phil Taylor, one point off the top four before tonight, but could lose ground. Needs to get it together here. Crowd responding. Well, Anderson not on the finish anyway, so Phil looking to set it up. Yeah, Phil, not your brilliant best as yet. Averaging 98, but he's only had one da double, so that's completely scoring phase, really. And like we alluded to, Nigel, he's being outscored. Yeah, and he's under pressure here now. Shovel 20 would leave double 10. He's gone for two tops, I think, there. And it's failed. An opportunity for Anderson for three zip here now. Yeah, big moment coming up. Tops. The perfect marker. I've said it before, that's why markers are so important. Look at that. Just dinked off the barrel. Uh, dinked off the flight, sorry. 3 0. Yeah, that marker was so good. It moved the wire without touching it. That's how close it was. And it worked a treat for Gary Anderson, who's 3 0 up here. Phil Taylor swimming against the tide already here. I wonder if Phil is his preparation. I wonder if it's been tailored to the, the last game. It's difficult for him playing twice. Did he you just that. say tailored? I did, yeah. Yeah. It was, was like deliberate. No, no, it wasn't. No pun intended. But <laughs> do you think he's tailored his preparation towards the the Chizzy game? Um he said before time well, many times that he finds playing what twice a, a, a real task, a real chore. Yeah, different mindset, different psychology. Gary struggling for a treble, adjusts well with the last start, to be fair. Gary Anderson, who is in third place before tonight, on 14 points, but significantly he's only lost three matches. You've lost three in 12, and there's still no guarantee you're going to get in the top four. Well, Phil Winston, because he missed, he leaves a Taylor, a 1-6-5. You've got to work out the out shots and the combinations to leave the out shots. Well, he's, he's lost his mind. Four for tops. Two darts in hand for Anderson for 4 0. Only needs a one. Well, well, well. Gary Anderson has rocketed into a 4 0 advantage here against the old master and he is in deep trouble yeah phil isn't concentrating at all there were six starts there he threw and 16. only he will know this but i can assure you that he had no idea he had he had no idea what score what score he had he wanted two six five and eight hundred which is 16. wrong and then started downstairs off a one six five he's hit 76 and gone back upstairs i, I really do believe that he's not 100 percent ready for this game and he's concentrating on Chizzy. Yeah, it's a question though of whether he was preparing like that way. You ask the question, was he preparing as though, look, get this out of the way and bring on Chizzy, because it's such a big game. But now at 4-0 down, has Taylor still got it in his locker to bounce back or has he got one eye on Chisnell? The last game of the night now. <laughs> Where did he find that from? <laughs> Oh, we know he's so capable. It's just doing it for his first leg. Treble 11. Needs the ball now to get a leg on the board. Well, there's only been three 170 finishes in the Premier League so far. Gary has one. Michael Van Gogh and Adrian Lewis. Not this time. 58. Surely this time for Taylor. It would only be a hold of throw, but it would stop the rot. Double eight, the target. One dart remaining here. Gets it. Gets it. Stops the rot. Taylor gets another on the board now. Yes, yeah, a little confidence boost as well. 
If you need a confidence boost after winning 16 world titles and six Premier League titles, well, <laughs> sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It does. Another 180. 140. He's averaging a ton now, Phil Taylor. Gary Anderson up at 107, as you can see there, at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, the last five meetings between these two. Two wins each and a draw. So finally balanced. 140. Well, he's outscoring Gary on the 140s and he's got a 180. And Gary hasn't. Strange old game sometimes. 4-1 down. Yeah, it's just more consistent, isn't he, Gary? As he threw in a bit of a ropey one. But Gary's going for a, a mini lull as Phil was getting better. He's throwing slightly quicker. It's working. Now 41 for the first break of throw for Phil Taylor. This would be game very much back on. Double 16 for the power. Right on cue. He's back in it. He's back in it. I think he's enjoyed that. I think he... He's just kind of livened himself up, hasn't he? He's, you can see that he's moving quicker, he's throwing quicker. He's not thinking of Dave Chisnell now, is he? No, he's not He's not thinking about well, anything, he's just doing it. <laughs> 60. Yeah, he's averaged 1-1-5 in the last three legs, Taylor. A couple of 180s, 9 140s now. Look at this as well. Here he goes again. One, That's 10 140s. <laughs> that takes some doing in six and a bit legs. It's Gary Anderson's first. <laughs> well, who would have thought would have waited till the seventh leg for Anderson's first 180? He's hit 43 in the tournament now. Phil's hit 26. 96. <laughs> well, it's now Gary's turn to leave a bogey. Got plenty of time here, Phil, to make this 4 3. Double 12. Double 12 for a 12 data. Wow, well, what a turnaround. Never write Phil Taylor off. And now it's up to Gary Anderson to try and just put a little bit of breathing space between them. But he's being pushed now, Anderson. Yeah, Phil fancied it. He done a little jig after that double 12 went in. But he's grew things better. He's thrown with more authority. There we go, look at that. Oh, what a move. What a shimmy. <laughs> Brilliant. 100. 107, Phil. 109, Gary, on the averages. He's played absolutely brilliantly. 83. The last three legs. Anderson not doing a lot wrong, but just been outplayed for the last five minutes. 96. Got to be rattled. Got to be. Again leaves a bogey. It's three bogeys in eight legs we've seen. 140. Almost matching Gary's average now. What a turnaround this has been. 39. Yeah, I know Gary has a hell of a lot of respect for Phil. Maybe that's why he finds him difficult to, to tumble. Well, he's turned this leg round brilliantly. Gary Anderson needs this 129. Needs the 60. Bullseye! Oh, with to the wire the away, and he knows it. Tops for Taylor to level the match at four apiece. Oh, brilliant. Never, never, ever right off the power. Well, he's like an, a different player from the, the first three or four legs. He's now enjoying it. He, he looks like. He can win this game. 
Well, five minutes ago, One, I had the audacity to, su to suggest he's looking forward to the last game against Chizzy and writing this one off. Shows, shows how much I know. Yeah, but he he was giving that that off. He, he was he was looking beaten. He was looking uninterested. Gary Anderson wasn't missing anything. One, this is the great thing about sport and life. Things change so quick. He's outscoring Gary, and he's got a higher average. What a Second 180 for Anderson. He's not done yet either. What a treat. Absolute treat. A true, true sporting great. Showing that he's not done Nothing just on. yet. I remember matches like this when they were so few and far between. You could kind of just recall them on, on one hand. Now they're happening every week. The talent of these players. And Phil Taylor, after 30 years, he's still doing it. Outrageous. Treble 18 would leave the ball. He's got the treble, needs the ball to take the lead for the first time in the match. Oh, nowhere near, Phil. <laughs> 60. 51. Well, he'd be disappointed there, Gary, not to at least have a dart at the little red bit. Now, Taylor, 47 he needs. He needs double 16 from here now to take the lead. He's got a dart left, and he hits it, and Phil Taylor goes ahead. And only a matter of five minutes or so ago, we didn't think we'd be saying that. 4-0 down, five on the bounce, Taylor leads by four. He was just blowing a bit there, Phil, just puffing. Trying to keep up with Gary. Easier said than done. But he's doing well. He's doing all right. 84. Some comeback. Brilliant to watch. Great game. Well, we, we've seen him so often do this kind of thing. It, it just doesn't happen as regular as it used to. We know he's still got the game. It was only in September when he beat Michael, Michael Van Gerwen twice in the Champions League of Darts and won that, so... And bear in mind as well, we should remind you that one more leg for Taylor and he will not be beaten by Anderson here. He certainly started playing with more pace, more vigour. Yeah, he did after going sort of 3-0 down, 4-0 down. You get to a point where it's, whatever I'm doing isn't working, so I'm going to try something else. One of the best players at that was, was John Park. He would all, always try something. 96. And I can tell you that Phil has hit 15 more treble 20s than Gary. Unbelievable. He's hit 50. Gary's hit 35. How about that? 152. Gary Rippard, 170. <laughs> Well, it was an important Rolling last start for Gary. He kind of needed that to hit the treble. For a point. 20 would leave tops for a point here. There's the target. And Three there's the finish. Six Who's straight there? legs. Oh. Phil Taylor. Vintage. Magnificent. 4-0 down. Lead 6-4. Cannot Three lose more. the match now. Now, the last time they met in the Premier League a few weeks ago, that was a draw. I've got to say, this isn't looking like a draw. Phil is playing beautifully. One, what a turnaround. Two. It's a bit like Michael Van Gerwen last week against Peter Wright. Was 5-1 down, 6-1 down, and then somehow 59. found a way back. Phil Taylor has found a way. wonder what the odds were in play for a Taylor win at 4-0 down. Oh, look at this. One of them, that'll do it. It's all it needs. 17. 17. 140s and two 180s 16. in 11 legs. What a shame he's retiring at the end of this year. Still got so much to offer, Phil Taylor. Let's enjoy every game he plays here on Sky Sports. I am. <laughs> I am.
I don't think Gary's enjoying it, do you? <laughs> oh, no. He was. 100. Oh, he Over was, yeah. But the 140s, absolute barrage from Taylor. I'd say a game of two halves, but it's not even that, is it? <laughs> 57. In total control. Very much in Taylor's hands now. And another point here. Oh, that's oh, nice from Gary. Who leaves 102, but this is for the match for Taylor now to put him onto 15 points, put him over Van Barneveld and Anderson. 16 would leave double 16 for the match. He's going tops for a 7 4 win. 44. Gary Unicral, 102. 60. 42. To go above go Gary above Anderson 20. in the table. 20. With seven straight legs after being 4 0 down. Hey, Magnificent from the Panthers. Who would have fought it? 4 0 down. Seven legs on the bounce. Wins 7 4 and goes above Van Barneveld and Anderson. Rockets up into the playoff zone. Taylor 7, Gary Anderson 4.